Where's Adventure Time? Oh, oh. Почет, товарищ! My name is Kalman. Welcome to that Russian gamer going. Welcome to another Pendulo Studios game. It's called the next big thing. So Pendulo Studios, the guys who are uh, behind Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo, uh, Black Sad, we played all these games recently and it was super cool. So I decided to go ahead and try some other Pendulo Studios game. So here we go. The next big thing. Uh, this is the first uh, time I'm starting the game. I created my account that says Calman Darling. And then uh, you can choose difficulty. Low, uh, medium, hotspots on, help off, or high. Hotspots off and help off. Let's just do... Um, low because why not I like help I I'm here for the story I'm pretty sure it's gonna be story rich Ladies let's go ahead and gentlemen <clears throat> before we begin you should know that the story you're about to hear has quite a number of um, um, uh, well don't say I didn't warn you wait it has number of what I see Pindola Studio style. It's so cool. What is this? Murray! 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 All right, fishes. All the fish are sad, all the fish are sad. What's happening? He's alive and breathing? This fly is a doctor? What? Oh shit! Uh, the, the pizza has arrived. Oh. Bon appétit. That's a start. Oh. oh. He's alive. And breathing. And he's hungry. Oh. Yeah, needs tomato sauce. Oh wait a minute. The story doesn't start that way. Ah yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, ale. Let's begin at the beginning. Ayo, ayo. Let's mock in them all. Our uh, Focus Home Interactive presents. It's not a long game though. I think it's about four hours. A Pendulo Studios production. Yes, Pendulo Studios. My favorite. The next big thing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the annual horror which the most outstanding monsters of the silver screen compete for the golden death chickens. What? Go the now and take your seats and golden death chicken? What did you just say? Didn't you hear me? Of course I heard you. Good for you. I'm not deaf. Right, just dumb. You jerk. Lunatic. Dan Murray, the boss has assigned this story to the two of us. If you don't come into the theater with me and do your part... So, you don't think you can do it alone? I think I'm more than capable. You don't say. Dan Murray, I'm going to go into that theater and write a Pulitzer Prize story by myself. You hear me? You're gonna leave me out here in the cold in the dead of autumn? I hope you freeze. Hmm. How can I keep myself warm? That's a lady. Yeah, it was fabulous. I did so many interviews that we're gonna have to ask the boss for more space. Fitz Randolph, Professor Fly, Chrome Hot, Eva Morte, the poet, the Grim Reaper, and uh, the short guy from Monster Without a Cause. Fascinating. Yeah, you know, the one from... Uh, hey, what's that? It's antifreeze. Dan Murray, have you been out here drinking while I was in there doing your job? <clears throat> That's it. The byline is going to be mine and mine alone. They can fire you for all I care. Mm -hmm. What's more, if they ask me for a shovel to help dig your grave, I'll be more than happy to help. And if... Hey, what's he up to? Hmm. What's hey, happening? Albert, in Fitzrandall's office. That's odd. Let's investigate. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. <clears throat> what are you saying? We have to go in there. My thoughts exactly. Finally, real investigative journalism. Come on, move it. 
Jesus, that's so intriguing right now. I think it's sports writing. If he hits you with a baseball bat, call me. Oh my gosh, come on, man. And that's man. how it all started for Liz Allaire. She decided she was going into that office with or without Dan's help. This is me? Oh, right, Pindulo Studios. It really, really reminds me of Runaway. Inventory hotspots. Okay. Help. Checkpoints. What's checkpoint? Entering... Okay. Okay, I have to enter the office. Should I talk to Dan? Jerk. Ah. Uh, that's what's up, jerk. Dog house. This connects to Fitz Randolph's office where Big Albert went in. Should we go inside? I can't go in this way. Someone could see me like I saw Big Albert. Robot. He has a saw for a hand. How uncomfortable. Should we talk to the robot? Hey, yo, short stuff. I knew you'd come. Take me with you. Where? To the great beyond, to my final resting place, to eternal peace. No way, never on the first date. Oh. Are you not my grim reaper, the angel of death, the bearer of the scythe, the stealer of souls? Ah, oh, now I know who you're talking about. It's a guy with hiccups who's still at the party, quite elderly. I'm Liz, and you? Phil, my time has not come. It never comes. Oh, poor guy. He wants to go, huh? Uh, have you seen Big Albert? Have you seen Big Albert? I have seen things you can't imagine. I've seen ivy grow higher on the wall. I've seen lightning bugs shining in the darkness near the door to the mansion. I've seen all this and much more. All of which will disappear in time. But Big Albert... No. He is funny. Are you feeling, Are you sad? feeling sad? Sadness is the only real name of that which you call life. Summertime sadness? Let's talk about you. I've never seen you before. What do you do? What's behind this door? Why are you so doing What's behind nothing? This door? My tool shed, my greenhouse, my veil of tears. Do you want to go in? Never I... on the first date. Oh. Disconcerting. Okay, why are you here doing why nothing? Why are you here doing nothing? I'm not. I'm dragging myself toward the inevitable bitter end. Okay, what do you do here? I'm sorry, uh, I have I'm to go. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna get any good headlines out of you. Hey, yeah, we'll talk later. If we don't expire first. No, you won't expire. Okay, we have to go inside the house somehow. Should I check dog house? You're awfully crabby, Tubby. I was going to pet him, but he blew it. Ew, okay. So where do I go? Let me see, do I have help? Let's see if I can remember. Yes, uh, um, the first thing Liz Allaire did was go to the mansion and enter, of course. Oh, I see. So we have to go straight to the mansion and... Hi, oh, miss. I thought you were going. Mr. What's that? Randolph. Now, come and sit beside me, Miss Allaire. It's the vampire guy, huh? Oh, no. I never imagined you were such a party girl. Me? No. I'm still here because it's so pleasant here, don't you think? Uh, you don't need an excuse, miss. My friend Murray's intern is always welcome. Oh. Actually, I was referring to your unusual style of dancing. Oh, I see. Have I offended you? Yes. No. Maybe. It's just that... Uh, how is that you're sitting here by yourself? How is it that you're sitting here by yourself? I love parties, but when you get to be my age... Since I'm the host, I can't go to bed. But at least here it's quiet. Um, okay. What about my style what of dancing? What about my style of dancing? Well, you're not accustomed to dancing in public. What do you mean? Vegetable, Vegetable soup? Vegetable soup. I don't understand. Do you want some? What? Vegetable soup. Huh, what's in it? 
disconcerting. Uh, are you insinuating that I'm not a good dancer? Are you dancer? insinuating that I'm not a good dancer? No, although society may not be prepared to see a woman move so many parts of her body so rapidly and with so much independence with respect to the rhythm. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm a feminist. Drop it like it's hot. I've never danced in public, but I look quite good in the mirror. Then don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If I hadn't believed in myself when I was young, I wouldn't be where I am today. Now where were we? Okay, I'm um, nobody to in nobody's in turn. Earlier, I forgot to ask you. I actually don't want to ask Thank him you about all time. this stuff. I'm nobody's intern. Oh, pardon me. It's just that you're so young and Murray is so so you know what I mean, uh so Murray. Alright, Dan is a sports writer. How do you know him? Dan is a sports writer. How do you know him? He I likes sports. Say one thing. The Los Angeles Freaks. Uh. I'm the owner. How oh. nice. The baseball team, miss. I bought it years ago and Murray comes to all the games. Alright. Uh, why does everyone like why Dan? Why does everyone like Dan? I don't want to seem arrogant, but Murray is like me. We're both self-made men. And we both have kept our common touch. Love it. Dan's a jerk. Dan's a jerk. You are very hard on him, and I think I know why. Do you find him attractive? Oh, a little bit? How dare you? Do you know that I once knocked over a refrigerator with my head? Do you think you're better than a refrigerator? And it was full at the time. Twenty, twelve, one, four. <sighs> it really is very pleasant here, isn't it? Dan's not worth talking about so much. I'm gonna take a walk. Uh, just one thing, miss. As what? you're probably already aware, I know some of the best doctors in the country, including psychiatrists. I have a cousin who's a veterinarian. Mm. <laughs> I've observed that, that you sometimes say disconcerting things. Yes, I've done a lot of reading. Uh, yes, yes, of course. It's, um, take the vegetable soup, for example. Poor thing. Haven't you had dinner? Uh, yes. Uh, no, no, I, I won't keep you any longer. Oh my gosh, I think this lady is crazy. Cons, I can't go into the hall that leads to Fitz Randolph's office while he's right there next to it. Pros, he gets along with Dan. This is the idea. Bad idea. Good. Bad. Jerk. Lunatic. Dan Murray, are you telling me that you do not intend to go into the mansion or to get Fitz Randolph away from the hall? In a nutshell. Well, okay then. Okay. Good. Good. But Liz Allaire was not a woman to give up easily, and she decided to convince Dan to get Fitz Randolph away from the hall. My gosh, they are crazy. Should he go? Hey, yo, Dan. So how are you doing? Better than you, my dear. Okay, why don't you help me? Why don't you help me get Fitz Randolph away from the hall? Because I bet half my salary on the fight tonight, and in a little while they'll be announcing the winner. That's no excuse. Come on, I only need you for five minutes. It's a shame that I can't help you. A real shame. Are you kidding me? You missed the fight because they sent you here as punishment. Do you confirm that? That's not the worst. Mr. Boss, set it up so they won't let me into the stadiums, racetracks, and arenas. They turn the faucet off. Gosh. Can't miss Friday. Manny Hammerboy Brown against Rico the Italian Stallion Sandretti. I would do anything to be there. Well, then you have to, t to help me. You bet money on a fight. Tell me more. Jim Bad Blood Dixon against Ron Hellman Pearl Boy. Small potatoes. At least compared to next Friday. Let's change the subject. Uh, okay, when the boss finds out oh, who did all the interviews, you're going to be in when hot water. When the boss finds out who did all the interviews, you're going to be in hot water. You won't find out. Liz Allaire's no stool pigeon. Or is she? Sometimes I blurt out things without meaning to. You wouldn't dare. Try then me. help me. Careful with the antifreeze, it makes your complexion look all pasty. A jab to the left, it's pumpkin punch. A jab to the right, have you been drinking antifreeze? No way. I just rubbed a little on my face. It was cold. Okay. So, what exactly did you do wrong? I met you. You Ooh. must have done something wrong for the boss to take you off your beloved sports section and put you on the society beat. 
Oh, did you have a thing going with the boss's wife? Um, did you have a thing going with the boss's wife? That witch? I'd sooner have a thing with you. With anybody. With you? Oh my gosh. Uh, were you drunk on the were job? Were you drunk on the job? I never drink, my dear. Oh my gosh, stop it. Never. Nasty. You were rude to the boss. You were rude to the boss. They're like I am with everyone, but I have a gift. No one takes it the wrong way. Jerk. Okay, just you, but you don't count. Lunatic. Actually, I could care less what you did. Fascinating. I hope you freeze. They are so rude to each other. What should I do then? Let's I ask for that help. Liz had already been in another place next to the hall. What was it? Let's check it out. I love it when they tell me what to do. This is so cool. Corridor. Miss Alaire, could you confirm that the reading room is being remodeled? Confirmed. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. She is crazy. It armchair. It might be Stacy, my first babysitter, but in armchair form. I'm not gonna take the painting that's sitting there. Why not? It looks cool. Okay. Large bookshelves. Large of white paint and little ones with blue pigment. Should I take it? Oppa. I can paint something. The cans of pigment weigh less. Okay. West. Did the workers leave this behind? If there was anything in the pocket, someone got here before me and took it. But at least I got it. I can... I can... Um... Staircase. Especially recommended for climbing to nowhere. Right? I'm not going... Okay, uh, we can pretend that we are a worker here and do something, I guess. Let's see. No. Can I use it? No. Okay. Whatever. There's another corridor. Oh. Hey, yo, Edgar. What are you doing at the window? Hey, yo. Weren't you going? Oh, sometimes I'm going and sometimes I'm coming. What are you doing at the window? Shall I take your jacket again? I'm gonna be coming and going. What are you doing at the window? Rehearsing. Ah, oh, you've been cast in a movie? No, just rehearsing for the sake of rehearsing. With my looks, nobody can believe I'd be competent as a monster in front of the camera. Oh, out of uh, work out of actor. actor. Coat check attendant. Obvious synergies. Uh, they don't let you play they monsters? Don't let you play monsters? No, with my looks, I don't scare anyone. At the auditions, I don't even get to act. They send me packing as soon as they lay eyes on me. That's so bad. How long have you been working for Fitz Randolph? About a month. He pays well, and he's nice. Uh, what type of work you doing? Um... And Fitz Randolph can't give you a recommendation? No, that would compromise his integrity. He gives his producers and directors complete artistic freedom and never interferes in things like casting. All right, um... Was your appearance this original when you were a boy? Yes, from day one. I was born in a beautiful and absolutely Ordinary place. All Pick right. Your typical farm animals. Why did I turn out peculiar? Your guess is as good as mine. Themes of Mother Nature. Wow. Radio active Nothing. stuff. Let's move on. Oh, uh, 2012 1 4. I like books. Who does the one on the table belong to? <laughs> to me. For autographs. I've gotten them from all the celebrities at the party. <sighs> Except for Hammer Boy Brown. I need the... 20, 12, 1, 4. The autograph. I don't understand. Why did you say that? To help myself relax. It works every time. Go on, rehearse. I'll watch you. I'm on it. Are we gonna watch him rehearsing? So now he's into rehearsing. Poor thing. Poor thing, that's for sure. Uh... That's it's him, Lou huh? It's Lou Harrelson. 
The star of Vulcan Flash and the attack of the Killer Tomatoes, who disappeared without a... Wait a minute. Edgar! Right, it's him. You are Vulcan Flash. <laughs> I wish. Seriously, you could pass for him. Now you have a job. Blue, strange eyes, dressed like this. Impossible. I'm very grateful to you, but no. Maybe it was out of generosity or stubbornness, or just because she happened to feel like it. But Liz decided that very night she would convince Edgar of his future as Vulcan Flash. I can do this. For that, her... Uh, original mind came up with a mental image that she decided to call the Complete Alien Kit, which she would equip with everything required for this altruistic goal. I mean, I can do this. Look, would you have... Agreed. He's not yes. exactly the guy in the poster, but close enough. Close enough. On second thought, the color blue is a fundamental characteristic of the Great Vulcan Flash. No, I won't give it to him until it's complete. Isn't it complete, though? Uh-huh. My complete alien kit has more and more in common with Vulcan Flash. I need to find a gun and I need to find pants. That's what's up. Let me check the book. I don't need any autographs. Okay. Um, is there anything else useful here? No? Alright, let's just go and check some other place. I cannot go upstairs. Ballroom. Should I go to Ballroom? Hole. This leads to Fitz Randolph's office, but I can't go in while he's around. Pumpkin. Seats, ballroom, should That's I go? That's where the ball is, but it's dying down now. After the way they all laughed when I started dancing, I prefer not to go in. Why? What happened though? Let's I know that ask she for then help. did something with the, with the pumpkin. Oh really? I would never guess that. These are the glasses that we need for the alien thing. Hmm, these could be Professor Flies. But now they are mine. Yes, 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 yes! The effect is positively alien. If I'm not mistaken, my complete alien kit is ready for action. It's ready for Can action. Can you confirm that for me, Miss Alaire? Confirmed. The alien kit is complete. Why she's talking to herself? This is creepy AF. But here you go. Finally. The moment has arrived for opening the refrigerator. There's my Edgar. Hey Edgar, what's up? Are you ready? Stop rehearsing. I have a role for you. You talking to me? I, I am do. going to put an end to your sad life. Exciting, huh? No, I don't understand. Oh, Edgar, don't you see the Vulcan Flash poster? Oh I shit. I am identical to him, the new Vulcan Flash. Next audition, I'm going straight to the top. Thank you for convincing me, Liz. Edgar continued. I'll make it in the movies as an alien. Yes, yes, yes. This is all very well and good. But ask me about what's-his-name Brown's jacket. Oh no, the jacket. Where is it? Put away. I got a jacket. I was afraid you'd drip on it when you drank the pigment. <gasps> you think of everything. And this is where you tell me I get to keep it. You're right. I suppose I that's suppose the least that's I can do for you, Liz. I can do for you, Liz. Mm? How, How did you know did what you I, was know going to I was say? going to say? I had no idea. And now I'm telling you to go back to rehearsing, okay? I'm on it. He's in such a hurry. And I haven't even told him. She is so crazy. What is this Could jacket? There be anything in the pockets? Ah, look. How convenient. We got tickets. I can do, uh, I can give tickets to my man then, and then he'll help me. Look, this is so cool. Dan, have you seen me eat paper? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Watch, I have here two pieces that say Rico the Italian Stallion Sandretti versus Manny Hammerboy Brown. Oh, give them to me. Fitz Randolph, away from the hall. Now. That's so hey, cool. Willie. 
Murray, my friend, you doing good? <laughs> Better than you. When are we gonna get together, throw a few punches? I'd like to throw back a drink. I see you're empty. <laughs> what a gun. And that was how Liz convinced Stan to get Fitz Randolph away from the hall. All right, now we can go back. Now we can go back and fo oh, wait, 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 wait. Hip flask, let me take it. It's half full. Just in case, just in case, you know, a good detective never leaves uh, useful stuff now behind. Alright. Is he asleep? Good. Gonna wake up. No? Gee, I love this game. It looks so pretty. I wonder when they released it. Closed. Life is like a crocodile. Okay, I Wait tried to Google it, but minute. fuck it. Aren't the offices of Fitz Randolph and his secretary connected? What do you mean? Oh, offices. Even if they are. Okay, everything is closed. That's a shame. That's a shame, but... We can do something, I believe. What is this door? Everything it's is closed. Still closed. Are you kidding me? Should I wake up He's the robot? Like hey yo, short stuff. Hey yo. Nice night. Considering that at this time of year... You open office doors, right? Affirmative. Considering that at this time of year, it usually cools... What's your name, sweetheart? Jimmy Love. It usually cools down, but autumn, as you know, comes late and all... Look, Jimmy, I'm not going to ask you to open Fitz Randolph's office. Only authorized subject, William A. Fitz Randolph, late and all at once. But his secretary's yes, okay, sweetheart? She's gonna say you're not his secretary. Wow, this lady is crazy. Access denied. Access denied? Liz said to herself, we'll just see about that. Okay. Uh Is it to be believed because it is absurd what? It is to be believed because it is absurd. Tertullian. Disconcerting. I don't understand. That is the path. I don't understand, but I believe. I don't understand, but I don't understand. She is crazy. She's saying so, su such a random stuff to everybody. Aren't you the charmer? Integrated elevator conversation chip. We'll have to start dressing more warmly. Oh my gosh, shut up. Hey, uh, so we have to do hips and my bust. Or bust? I don't know how to pronounce. Oh my gosh, pronounce it right. Hey, there's something on it. Of course. They always leave something Crank behind. Handle. What I can open with this thing? That's my question. Roses? I could pick some roses, but I'm full. Roses are red, violets are blue. Um, reading room. Is there anything in the reading room that I can open? I don't think so. Where else can I go? This is my question. Let's ask for if help. If Dan wasn't there anymore, why did Liz go back to the car? Maybe she thought she would find something interesting in it. I don't know. That's what I was thinking about, but I thought since I got the... Ooh, that's what's up. We can use this thing to open the hood, this most likely. This can't be opened with a crank handle, and as far as I'm concerned, it should stay closed. Oh. What about trunk? Should I take a look at the trunk? My dad is in the trunk of his brand new truck. I really want him back, but I'm flat out of luck. That's strange. 
Being Dan's, I expected to find a trunk full of old, dirty, worthless junk. But apart from this empty oil can and a baseball bat, there's nothing. Nothing. What do I have the oil for? Oh, the music is beautiful. All right. I like it close. Okay, that's it, I guess. What can we do? Never mix alcohol with depression. Not this thing. What about mansion? Go back to the hole. What if I give mother oil to him? It's empty. Oh, it's empty. This was so great idea. Pumpkin punch and a can of motor oil. Anyone care for some? E. Pumpkin punch, Jimmy. I'd like. To, but Mr. Fitz Randolph will fire me if he sees me drinking. He only lets us drink oil so that we don't rust. He's in the ballroom. He won't see you. No, no, no. I don't dare. He could show up at any moment like a summer thunderstorm. Don't worry. I'll figure out something else. But you'll have your punch. I bet you can't guess what's inside this oil can. Affirmative. All right, drink it, baby. You're gonna go drunk. Suddenly, everything is like cloudy. The weather is just crazy. Oh my gosh, he's drunk, a drunk robot. This is so funny. Hey yo, Jimmy. Hey yo. Nice night. Um, open the second door for me. Open the second door for me. Affirmative. Everything is cloudy, so yes, yes. The authorized subject, Maverick Torrance. Her pond eyes blue. Cost 50. Price 24 tips. 36. Positive identification. Access allowed. So funny. He's drunk. Poor baby is drunk. He cannot see straight. Oh shit. Bang bang. At least we're we are inside the office now. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on, good old in and out. And Poor that baby. Was how, with the help of the pumpkin punch, Liz got Jimmy Love to open the door to the secretary's office. Poor Thanks, baby. Sweetheart. Fitz Randolph Mansion, Halloween night. My exclusive interview with Big Albert. Hey, you, Albert. Liz Alaire of the Quill. Huh? Four questions. Twenty. Can you tell me your motive for sneaking into the magnate Fitz Randolph's office? Twelve, what's that in your hand? One, are the rumors that say you're a kleptomaniac true, or did I just invent that to get under your skin a bit? Four, are you listening? Now, give this to the immaterial man. Hurry. Immaterial Coilers. man. For once, fortune seemed within reach, only to elude her. On the other hand, if she had managed to get into Fitz Randolph's office, she would only have solved the mystery surrounding Big Albert after reading that note. Right? Okay, let's investigate the office. Sculpture. She's fat and heavy. No. Fat and heavy! She's not altogether ugly. Oh my gosh, she is rude. But it's cool. I love them ladies. Rude. It's strange that Fitz Randolph has such an obsolete model. After all, he bankrolls the inventions of Professor Fly, who's designed more advanced phonographs than this. He's just like... You were sort of punk rock, I grew up on hip-hop and all this good stuff. What if I put on some music to dance? Uh, on second thought, after they laughed at me at the party, I'm not really in the mood. Okay, but he has all curves. these lady... A lady sculptures, why? Garden, dock, and on the other side of the lake, the studios. It wouldn't do me any... 
Okay, let's see. This the door. The hall. Should I open it? No, I, I should not. Okay, armchair. He was looking for something though. Should I go back? Beverly's office. Let me see. Suit of armor. I can move it, but I don't see what for. I don't need it for anything. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything useful here. Let me talk to the guy. Where is he going? I should check the note. Hey, monsieur. Fail, What's happening? Sweetheart. Show me the note, please. Um... You can't deny it. You can't it. deny it. You have seen Big Albert. Why deny the obvious? Why try to avoid the unavoidable? Uh, do you have Big, you Albert's, have Big note? Albert's note? No. I ran into the immaterial man in the hall and I gave it to him. Everything meets its end sooner or later. Who's immaterial man? Which way did the immaterial man go? There's only one possible destination. Nothingness. Non-existence. Death. Stop it! Do you know which way Big Albert went? Yes, he went out that... that... I... don't... know. Why should I pay attention to anything if everything is superfluous? Jesus. Do you know what the note said? Why bother if we're all going to die anyway? Clearly, Please! you don't know anything. The only certainty in life is the tomb. Stop it! Me, I'm not going to expire. Um, it just doesn't interest me. Bad choice. If you do expire, fine, but... And if you don't... Shut up! Yeah, we'll talk later. If we don't expire first. Shut up, sad bitch. I don't want to talk no more. Fox. He is cray cray. What's happening? Is there anything useful here? What is this theater? Should we go to nope, theater? It's clo It's closed, they say. Reading room. No one's here. Code check. Does he know anything? There's my ad Stop rehearsing. You have a customer. Stop rehearsing. Oh my gosh. You talking to me? Yes, I do. Uh, first impressions. Come out to the party, go out the hallway and yell, Oh, life is a crocodile. What? If Dan Murray or Fitz Randolph come out of the party, go out to the hallway and yell, Dan Murray came. I didn't see him. Crocodile. Crocodile. Wait. How do you know Dan? How do you know Dan? Come on, everyone knows Dan Murray. What a guy, eh? Dave is a jerk. Dan is a jerk. <laughs> I would be too if I looked like him. All right. How dare you? I don't understand. Dare what? Do you think you're better than a refrigerator? Do you think you're better what? than a refrigerator? Please, sometimes you're disconcerting. I don't want to talk about Dan. Everybody Come keeps on. saying it, that I'm disconcerting. Why Let's... did Liz want to find something to write with if she had a tape recorder? Anyway. Okay, we gotta go back. There was something in her office that I didn't see. Mug. What luck! Not even chewed on! So now we yeah. have... Uh... A pencil. But what for? Liz Another help! the crank and... Was about to make noise. Did I say noise? No, music. There's a reason that they call her Looney Liz. We're about to play some music. Cause why not? Let's do it. I love it when you have all this help available. 
Wasn't this in the other office? Okay, guys, so the game just crashed. I'm trying this for the second time. Let's go ahead and do this thing with the phonograph. Hopefully, it will work and it won't crash because, yo, know, I had to Wasn't replay from the, the start. Office? Yes, it's all good now. Oh shit, what is this? Let me save just in case. Because somehow I forgot saving stuff. Uh, I'm used to all this autosave. Fitz Randolph is clever. One turn of the phonograph crank, and the table, part of the floor, and the wall turn, and this appears. That's crazy. Listen to what I'm telling you, Liz. The rose-colored bed. William A. Fitz Randolph's Dirty Laundry. A Liz Allaire exclusive. All right. Forget it. The gossip rags don't interest me. Okay, let's see. Um, is there anything useful here? Bad. This is where, but... No way. Sleep here and you turn into Hannah Montana. All right, Hannah Montana. Bookshelves. Let me see what's there. Ice? Expensive caviar. My sister, Anne-Marie, the smart one, uses it to make sandwiches. Russian caviar, yes, baby, love it. Um, where can we go now? What should we do now? That's the question. Um, should I ask Let's for see help? If I can remember. Yes, uh, um, Liz, the great investigative reporter, knew that a certain pet would go crazy for. Um, or did she know that? For caviar. Let's go then. I wonder what is this for, but here we go. Dog house. Okay, let's use caviar and see what's happening. What's gonna happen? And the magic word for today is caviar. What the heck is this? <sighs> but the real magic would be if something was written on it. Los Angeles. I know how to do this. Look. Look. Bam and bam. ASAP. That was when the note. She finally found out what Big Albert's note said. Liz headed to Fitz Randolph's storeroom, located behind the mansion. To the warehouse, then. Hopefully, Big Albert and Immaterial Man are still there. What about I'll them? I'll turn on my tape recorder. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. <gasps> Someone is dead. Easy now. Immaterial? The people who did this will be back. <gasps> Help me. Count me in. What do I do? I'm your girl. The important part is safe and sound now. We'll simply bury the rest. Lights out. What is this thing? At noon the following day, Dan was awakened by a ringing telephone. It was his boss. Liz and Dan hadn't shown up at the paper that day, and uh, he was, how can I put it, pretty angry. I won't tolerate another screw-up. You hear me, Mr. Murray? You know, you don't understand it. If the story about last night's award ceremony doesn't make the Sunday edition, you and Mr. Mayor are going to be in hot water. He's already in the hot water. Oh, my gosh. Very, very hot water, he screamed down the phone. Reluctantly, Dan went back to Fitzrandolph's mansion. Edgar told him that Liz had been seen going into the storeroom, where she evidently was no longer. Finding out what had happened to his beloved colleague was not going to be that easy. Beloved, my foot. Los Angeles Stadium, Friday night. Manny Brown, Rico Sandretti. That's what counts. All right, now we're gonna be playing as this guy. That's cool. And we have to find our colleague because she disappeared. I'm pretty sure these bad guys did something, uh, kidnapped her. Uh, and we're gonna find it in the next episode. So, so far, uh, this game is so exciting and cool as all the games by Pendulo Studios. So I cannot wait to see uh, what's gonna happen next. Uh, don't forget to drop a like, write a comment, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.